Okay. Oh, very nice. Holy sh Okay, today we're doing an unboxing of the DJI RS2, the Pro Combo. So just before I open the box, this is not mine. This is from a friend of mine, uh, Emmanuel. He was generous enough to let me open this uh, on video. So this is the new Ronin from DJI. Basically, they took everything they learned from the previous generations and they made into this RS. What I'm so excited about this, um, this new module is the weight capabilities and all the new features. I have the the normal Ronin, uh, which has been great. It's really strong, it does a great job. But the problem is that now I updated to the C200 camera and a gimbal that can hold the C200 would be beyond scope. That would be ideally what I actually need. What's in the box? Oh, what's in the box? <laughs> Manuals and whatever else comes from. Look at this. Look how tiny this is. This is ridiculous. This is beyond ridiculous. Oh. Oh, I give it a little zipper over here. No, it doesn't have anything here, but I see this being very useful. I really like that they made like a proper bag and a much smaller bag. This can fit into a suitcase. This can fit into possibly a backpack or this can easily come on the side without taking much of the space. Uh, opens like that. First pouch over here, we have the focus ring, uh, DJI. Okay, so this is all the little focus. Oh, there you go. Now this is exciting. This is the the focus motor that go into your lens. One of the big things with these new uh, stabilizers is the fact that you can easily put a photo focus in there. Because like when you get into bigger productions, focus becomes a big thing. You can't just rely on autofocus where gimbals get complicated because if you're holding the gimbal you can manually do the focus otherwise you're changing how the camera is looking now being able to focus from your ronin will change everything and that's very very exciting we have like if you, if you guys have seen any of the ronins before they come full of little little mounts and little things like little shoes and when you when it comes to putting them into action is where this would make sense. Okay, so it comes with a little rail for it. It's quite nice, so we can uh, judge the distance of your lens. Oh, the oh my God, this is beautiful. This is one of the big things about this new Ronin. Uh, this is the system that allows you to see basically see your footage through. The Ronin. The Ronin has a little, uh, we'll get to see in a second, a little monitor that you can get to see through it. You can transfer this to your phone as well. So you can have someone uh, pulling the focus and oh, like a director or someone seeing the footage from their own phone. And then your, your necessities, the screws and, oh, that jazz, I'm not gonna bother. Uh, look at that, look how, perfectly organized that is. Have the bottom plate is very comfortable. I love how they just very smoothly put the, the rubber in here so that the, like when you're holding onto this, it's not, you're just not holding me pure metal in the way it comes together in the bottom and it becomes like a very reliable shoe. I think this is something they did really well. The previous run that made complete sense for them to just continue with. There's nothing wrong with this. If anything, I end up using this shoe mount for many other things. Um, 
as like a basic little tripod in general, just because it's such a good, reliable piece of hardware. New plate. This is one of the things that really needed improvement from the previous Ronin. Previous Ronin just had a, a normal plate uh, and you had to adjust it every time you took the camera out. I really like doing handheld, so for me, be able to take the camera on and off the Ronin was so is important, but the problem is every time you put it back into the Ronin, you have to rebalance. So that was always time wasted. What they did now is that they created this little, uh, this out. Uh, oh, so the, there's a spare one of these. Pop this out. So the, the plate is always in the same place. You just come pop the camera back in without any difficulties, which is incredibly, incredibly smart of them. This definitely helps and saves us a lot of time. Little phone holder. Uh, you could buy these separate. DJI was smart and put it together into, I don't know if this is only in the combo kit. I don't know what comes into the normal standard one, uh, but this is definitely very useful, especially now being able to use the uh, Revenite to connect to your phone, being able to have your phone on the Ronin is very, very nice. Yeah, it does a great job, Chris. Battery, battery. Smart thing, they put the charging of the battery directly in the battery. Uh, this is something that, again, was very annoying in the previous one because you had to connect the battery to the main body to charge the battery because there was nothing connecting to the battery. You had to basically put the Ronin together to be able to charge the battery, which was very, very annoying. I guess I don't mind changing the battery as is a better battery, but it is annoying that now the battery that I had for the other Ronin doesn't work with this one. Okay. Oh, this is the, okay, this is something they did to give you a lot of different gimbals. What they were doing is that they were creating a system where you can hold it lower. The problem with the DJI before is that for you to have a lower, either you have, either you have to buy an external access, accessory, had to buy one of these basically so that you could hold it or you would hold it in a very awkward position. Uh, what they did, they created this little system where this plugs into the Ronin and then this bottom piece can become a side piece so you can hold it, you can hold it in a better position, I guess. Okay, so that's it for this pouch size. Oh, wow. Uh, here are all the cables you're gonna need. Not all of them, actually. This is all the cables. <laughs> to be honest, these are all um, USB-C's. I guess you, oh, most of the connections from the Ronin are USB-C, so these are all of them. Uh, in here you have HDMI. Yeah, a bunch of HDMI's in different sizes. And here we are. Oh. Uh, that, that, that is beautiful. I love that they went with the, the red detail. I, I feel like the red detail really makes this stand out. Pouch is over, over here. Okay. Great. So this is the, the main body, right? This is where the magic is. Now here you have a little monitor. I don't know if you can see that. But there's a little monitor thing here. Uh, and what this has is this little lock mechanism where simply by pushing this down, this doesn't move. The Ronin, one of the, the big issues was how it was always dangling. You're always afraid you're gonna break it. It's a pretty tough piece of gear, but at the same time, because there's so many moving pieces, you're always unsure of it. But now they created this locking mechanism, which allows the Ronin to we put into place in a very easy manner. It looks a lot more robust. And this is one of my favorite things, how much weight this can handle. I really wanna put this to the test with my C200. That's where my actual interest is in. I'll be properly trying this out throughout the week. And next Monday, I'll be putting out a video giving a proper review of this run. Let's put this together. Let's see how, oh, nice, a little. I love when they do this because once you took it out the first time, you're never going to put it back in because why would you? That comes out, battery clicks. Oh, nice. They, they put this little leverage system over here where as you click, 
that locks in. Very nice, very nice. Uh, the, they have this little ring here, which they had it on the side, but the problem with having it on the side, it means that one of your hands had to be just for focus, which kind of defeats the focus of the, the gimbal. The gimbal, you, you place this on the bottom. And the idea is like, this is what you're holding, right? Uh, whenever you had to focus with the other one, the ring was here. Uh, now what they did, that they put the focus ring on your index. So as you're holding, you're able to look at the footage, either on the little monitor or on the phone on the side, and be able to pull the focus. Uh, so I'm just grabbing this camera just to set up the gimbal. Uh, <laughs> Super 8 camera. Plate in the bottom of your camera. And the, one of the nice things about the, this lock mechanism is that you can now focus on one lock, one gimbal at the time. For example, in here I want to put the camera on, but I don't want the gimbal to go everywhere. I can place the gimbal this way. Okay. Oh, very nice. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> okay. Back in there. And then. You see this little knob over here? What this does once you, you loosen this one and then you grab this one. And now you can adjust your camera by, by little. So if I make this one loose now. Uh, you see the camera's falling backwards. I can pull this forward. Actually, I'm gonna bring this down. Okay, okay the camera's falling backwards. I can, instead of loosening up and trying to do it with my hands, problem with the other uh, as well is that whenever you loosen it, the hand, like, as you're trying to do a little push, it would just go forward a lot, and that would kind of reset your whole balance. Now, you're happy, you lock it in, Okay, I just realized that there's no battery on the Ronin, so <laughs> I'm gonna keep this locked for now. But what I like about it is that sometimes you wanna do a handheld, like you wanna do a, sp a small little thing. Being able to lock this system allows you to have that handheld feeling to it. Uh, all right, that's it. That's the unboxing of DJI Ronin RS2. Yes, RS2. If you wanna see a full review of this Ronin, I'm gonna be making it throughout this week and it's gonna come out next Monday. So subscribe, tune in, so you know when that comes out. That's all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.